Hello everyone. <clears throat> we are going to start uh, with part one of assembling the 49 and Market Big Picture Album Kit for the Vintage Artistry Sunburst Collection. I'm going to be doing this in steps. So part one, we're going to be assembling the spine. Um, this uh, album comes unassembled. So you have, it's a really great quality um, cardboard or hardboard, um, but you need to assemble the spine, which you're going to, to eventually attach your pages to. It does come with instructions, but I do know that sometimes um, the instructions uh, can be difficult to understand when you're reading them. <clears throat> so I'm doing this for my little scrapbook store, which is where I purchased my album. And um, she has lots of albums left in the shop. So if you are interested in this um, album, you can head over there. I will leave a link below um, and pick it up. It is going to be beautiful and you can follow me along. Um, these videos will be on my YouTube channel, will not go away. So you can go back to them for reference. We're gonna start today with, like I said, with the spine um, and see how this goes. Also, if you're purchasing anything at my little scrapbook store and it's your first time, your first time um, buyer, our customer, you can use my code T-I-S-A-R-E-F and you can save 10% on your entire order. I'll leave that information below as well. <clears throat> so let's start with the instructions. The instructions say, to assemble this album, first begin by scoring the spined hinge piece. Um, when they say scoring, it just means we're gonna be, you can see on here, there's little score lines and we're going to be folding them to the directions it's supposed to be, right? Um, so yeah, so we're gonna score, we're gonna begin by scoring the spine hinge piece. Adhere strong glue to either the peak or the valley side and adhere together to form the page turns. Fold back the outer flaps to secure a flat surface. With strong adhesive, add to the center of the book so the spine you have, so you have even spacing on top and bottom. Now, <clears throat> you're going to be adhering this wide piece to this side, okay? And then this, let me fold it over for you, this wide piece to this side. And everything else you're going to be adhering in the middle. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead first and do our scoring. Now you can use a bone folder for your scoring. I don't have a bone holder right next to me, so I'm going to use my little rub-on tool. <clears throat> and we're going to start with this. Remember, this is going to be like this. So I'm going to fold it inward. And then you're just going to do kind of an accordion. Just go back and forth, back and forth, and score each one. Let's see here. So I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to go along and get a nice crisp edge. Just to make sure you're going in the right direction, I'm going to fold them together so that I know the next fold's gonna go this way because we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Go ahead and make my crisp edge, okay? Now then we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna press down my edge again and then These little skinny ones <clears throat> are what we're going to be gluing to the spine. Okay. Now, I like to make sure I'm going still in my accordion style, so that's why I'm kind of going back and forth like that. 
just to double check I'm doing it the right way. Now, does it matter if you go the wrong way? You can flip it, it's fine. So, there we go. This is kind of the tedious part, I would say. Not fun part of this album assembly, but obviously necessary, right? Okay, so see how we're getting that accordion fold. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And these are already pre-scored for you. You're just doing the folding part. So you're not having to guess where to fold. They've done that for you. Okay, we're almost done. seen a lot of videos where people have assembled this album and have shown you what they've done, but not, I've found no videos of anybody actually showing you the process of assembling it. So that is kind of what, what my goal is here. We're kind of going to be learning as we go, right? Because so, I think how this goes is we're going to be, let me see how this is going to go. Because this is what we're going to attach the page to. So, for instance, if this is one of our background pages, we're going to be attaching it there. I'm just using these as examples. And then we're going to be attaching it to this side. Okay. And then this skinny piece here is what we're going to be putting tape on to adhere to the spine. So I think what I'm going to do next is we're going to make all of our little, um, we're going to put glue. I'm gonna use double-sided tape because I am too messy with glue. So I'm trying to show you guys. See this little mountain here, this little triangle? We're gonna put glue or tape on either side and hook those together. We're gonna to hook all of those mountains together like this. So you might have to readjust your folding, um, which is fine. So we're gonna put all of those mountains together, if that makes sense, all of those triangles together. So I'm going to put my tape. I really wanted to use red line tape, but my goodness, I could not find any at the store. So, and I ran out. So I'm just gonna go with my double-sided tape I could possibly reinforce this also with glue on top of it. Um, but I think the double-sided tape will be fine. Okay, let's do our first one. off. Okay. 
Okay, let me get my tweezers. Maybe that will help. Oh my goodness, y'all. First one I got off right away. There we go. Okay, now, see where we have our little mountain? We're going to glue that together. There we go. That's the first one that's glued together. Now we have this little piece here. We're going to leave that alone because that's going to what we're going to put tape on the back of that to glue to the spine. Here we have our second little mountain, our little triangle. We're going to glue that together, leaving, I hope I can, I hope I'm showing you, leaving this little strip without tape. Okay, both of these little skinny strips do not get tape yet. We're just gluing these together, okay? So let's glue together our second little mountain. That's what I'm gonna refer to it as. And we're not going to put tape on that little skinny strip. Oh shoot, oh shoot, Tisa. I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way so I don't make a mess and stick something to something that shouldn't be stuck to, right? There's that. Okay. Now I'm gonna use my little tool and just make sure that adhesive is really stuck down there. Use your bone folder for this. And do our next little mountain. Okay. All right, so we have our second one. And there's going to be a little space between each one. And that's where that little strip is, right? That little skinny score is right there. Now we have our next mountain right there. That's where we're gonna glue the next ones together. I hope this is making sense to y'all. Okay, I'm gonna put glue, and again, I'm not gonna put the tape on that little skinny scored piece. Because I don't want that sticking to anything yet. Just on our mountain part. Okay. All right, I'm gonna press that down again because we wanna make sure that adhesive is really stuck down to our paper. That's gonna assure that it's not gonna come loose. Now, we are going to fold that mountain together again, okay? And again, I'm gonna come back with my bone folder or whatever you're using and get a nice seal. So, so far, we have enough for three, well, three double side pages. So this is how they're gonna connect. We're gonna take our pattern paper and connect them one to this side and the other one to this side. And we're gonna connect those together and that's gonna be page one. This is gonna be page two, page three. So we're just gonna continue on and we just wanna make sure that all of our peaks are coming up the same direction, right? So I don't wanna go and fold something this way because that's the wrong side. 
I want to make sure I'm folding it this way so that all of my peaks are going in the same direction. I know y'all get it once you start doing it. Okay. Let's go here. Make sure I'm doing this right. I'm gonna go this way, yep. I know it's probably hard to see. I'm going to stick that down. So, okay, I'm going to seal this down again. Make sure I get a nice strong hold. And as you can see, all of my little pieces, I'm not putting, this one's gonna go up like that, I'm not putting adhesive on yet. I don't know how people are putting this together with wet glue. I feel like I would be making the biggest mess ever. So I strongly recommend score tape for this. I feel like wet glue would be really messy, but maybe you guys aren't as messy as me. There's a reason why I call myself the Hot Mess Express when I'm doing my lives and stuff. Okay. All right, perfect. So far, so good. Now we're gonna do the next one. There's only a couple more. As you can see, it gets faster as you go. Okay. We're just making sure we're not putting this glue at this moment on those skinny pieces because that those are the ones we want to attach to the spine. Okay. Do not skip this step of reinforcing that your glue is down on the paper. This is gonna prevent that glue from, peel or that tape from peeling back up. All right, make sure I'm making my peak in the right direction, and I am. Going to go back and reinforce the glue again. And we've got one more, y'all. That's it. One more. One more, one more, one more. Okay. Now, can you see that all of those little skinny pieces? This is where we're going to put our tape to attach it to the spine. But let's make our one last piece mountain here. One last peak. Push that glue down one more time. And then we will be able to move on. Okay, and we want to make sure that our, our mountain is going in the same direction as all of the others. All right, let's 
glue that down. All right. And look what we've got. Here is, these are basically what's gonna give us all of our signatures. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six double-sided pages is what this um, is gonna make up. And then these, basically what we're gonna do now, here's our album. Make sure you do not have it upside down. There are words on here, so you wanna make sure the words are right and you can read them. And then, how's that gonna work? Let's see. I feel like these are missing one score line. We've got this right. This is 100% right. And now we're going to, yeah, we're just going to glue it down, making sure that we've got it centered. So this is where it can be a little bit tricky, okay? because this score line, these end score lines do not go to the very end of the spine. So what you've got here, let's measure this. You've got two and a half inches. And then this, is three and three quarters inches. What's gonna be the best way to do this? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take a piece of washi tape and I'm gonna lay it down where my spine is so I can see. So that's the spine there. And this is the spine here, okay? So that, that shows me that's where my spine is. Now, I want to make sure that when I fold this that I've got equal distance on both sides. So the, actually, y'all, this works out perfectly. If you do it to where you put your washi tape down so that the inside of the washi tape is your crease in your album on this side and then the inside of your washi tape is the crease on that side make sure it's lined up now the width of this fits to the outside of your washi tape so this is how many inches is this washi tape about a half an inch washi tape so now I'm going to be able to just line this up just like so and we're gonna end up scoring. I think I'm gonna make a mark with a pencil and score this paper. I don't know why they don't have this scored, but I'm gonna go ahead and score it. So I'm gonna get my scoreboard. If 
you don't have one of these, don't worry. You don't have to have it, but I'm gonna use it. And if you don't have a scoreboard, <clears throat> you can just fold it. It's not that big of a deal. But we're gonna do this to make a nice, uh, I'm terrible at scoring, so nice, easy score mark on both of these. Okay, I don't know why they would not have scored those, those for us because it's actually important because that's the part that's gonna go, it's gonna have to fold, see? This is gonna have to fold like that. Now the other important factor is that you wanna make sure you've got this evenly placed and have the same amount of distance on the top and the bottom, right? So I'm gonna put my tape first on the center. So I'm gonna put my tape, I'm gonna, the little flaps here on the side that are gonna go on the side albums, I'm gonna wait to put my tape on for right now. Um, we're just gonna add all of our tape to the middle. And I'm gonna try to make this, I'm gonna flatten this out. I'm gonna accordion everything so it's in one direction so I can flatten this out. Okay. And we're gonna put tape all the way across this. We're gonna load this up with tape. I'm gonna move this out of the way for right now because I don't want to get my tape stuck on the book. I may add some glue to this also just to reinforce this. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my bone holder and just press all that glue in there again, just like I did before. and then pull this off. This is kind of a boring part, guys. Stick with me. I'm gonna get all this tape off. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some wet glue just for reinforcement. 
and then we'll get this stuck down on our spine. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use some art glitter glue because I've got it nearby and just add some glue here just for reinforcement. This will also allow me to move the spine around a little bit if I don't have it perfectly straight. If I stick it down with just the score tape, once it's down, it's gonna be down. So this is gonna give me a little bit of time to make any necessary adjustments. Now remember guys, I know this sounds dumb, but make sure your album is in the right direction. You do not want your words upside down. Let's line this up with our washi tape right there because then we know that we've got to go right here approximately. And just make sure, yep. Yep. All right, now I'm gonna just press down all these middle pieces. Okay, this one's not wanting to go down right, there we go. Okay, now it's gonna be, all we have to do is glue this outside piece to this part. So I'm gonna add my score tape. I could have done this before, I suppose, but I was just not sure, so I just waited. You could actually add your tape when you're adding your tape with the others, but just not take the backing off. Um, but I only had one shot to do this for y'all, you know, and I'm just wanted to be cautious, make sure I didn't screw it up. One shot, because once it's all glued together, you know, you don't have a second chance is the problem with these spines. But as you can see, it's not that hard. So I've got the glue on that side, or the tape, I should say, and then I'm gonna tape it on this side. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, and pull this tape off. I'm gonna add some extra wet glue. And down we go. I'm gonna go ahead and use my bone folder and just really press that glue in and that tape in. Wonderful. Super excited, now I can get started on creating my pages. So in the next upcoming videos, um, I will be coming on to create the actual pages if you wanna play along with me um, or watch before you, you know, before you do your own. I know you can kind of follow directions and kind of make it your own along the way. So we'll see where that process goes for me, but I can at least walk you through <clears throat> the directions and how I am attempting to assemble my pages. Put my little bit extra glue there and get that down. I'm gonna use my bone folder again. Get that glue nice and adhered and now 
we have our spine. And that's what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna give this some time to dry before I do much of anything else with the actual album. But in the meantime, we're gonna get started on um, assembling the pages. And then once we have all the pages assembled, we will come back and I will show you how to add <clears throat> your pages to your spine. So here is our completed spine. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and uh, keep a lookout for part two as we continue to build our pages. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks guys.